This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. We're talking about Drake. They have the snitch, the XXX Tentacion snitch up on the stand. The lawyer, the defense lawyer, is trying his hardest to blame Drake. He said, How much money did Drake pay you? Didn't you go to the God's Plan video? Guy's like, I know who Drake is, but I've never met him before. Stop lying! Tell us the truth. Tell us it was Drizzy Drake. Then they tried to blame it on, like, XX Tentacion breaking up with his girlfriend. I mean, it's like, these guys were already pretty clear. They were out to rob somebody. And they came across XXX Tentacion, and they robbed him. The guy said he didn't even know who X was. He's like, he's the biggest rapper out of Broward! No, he's not. But he was big. 21 Savage's father goes on uh, a show and he says, I forget his name. So let's call him Xavier. Xavier, I love you. And no, no disrespect to anybody from Britain. It's just funny because 21 Savage is British. <laughs> All this, you know, so is his father has a deep British accent. And he's like, I love you. You were born at 7.30 on July 7th. I loved you since 7.30 and 36 seconds. You've been the love of my life. Now can I hold something? I don't know. It's, I, they're estranged. It's sad. Hopefully they do rekindle because, like, you know, 21 Savage should get to know his father. Nia Long can't understand why the Celtics organization made her do, you know her whole thing with her husband public well it's because there was a snitch the other girl he was cheating with the, the husband found out on a ring camera uh conversation like she was leaving the house i guess she was on the phone with the you know Nia long's husband and he got exposed and he was going to expose it so they got ahead of it adidas is going to lose billions from not being with kanye west anymore what do they think was going to happen I don't know how they would have handled that situation. They should have probably made things a little bit better for Kanye while he was there because it obviously set him off on a tirade to just take to destroy and rebuild because all he did was offend people and destroy everything. I mean, they really were messing with him, like copying his designs and everything. And I think he just lost it, bro. I think he just said everything vile under the sun and it offended and hurt a lot of people, which is not right. But Adidas was playing hardball with him. It's pretty sad it got to that. Kanye owes everybody an apology, too. A deep-hearted apology. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Peace.